In this video, I'm going to show you um, a variety of techniques to paint pumpkins, um, all the way from this kind of white one that has a green and orange undertone to it, kind of a yellow one, kind of a purple and silver one, um, your, maybe your more traditional orange. This is a peach um, done in a peach acrylic base coat and then Kimple's white on top of it. And then I guess this is maybe more traditional too, um, your fall colors. And so let's get started. Step one is to prime and base coat your pieces. Um, I primed it using Kimple's primer, which I absolutely love their primer. I do two coats of the primer, and then I did just a white acrylic on these two. And then this one, you'll want to do um, a peach acrylic, base coat it uh, two coats, and we'll get started. So for this one, using Kimple's white, uh, coat the whole thing in white. Be sure to get in all the cracks because um, for this particular one, we want the white to be in all the cracks. So paint it on full strength. This is what it looks like painted all white and Kimple's white. And then using your rag, clean spot, start pulling this back. So this is what it looks like um, pulled back. Next using Kimple's evergreen. Coat the um, stem full strength. And then pull that back. So I'm going to set this one aside. We'll finish it later. Move on to this one. Uh, for this style, I'm going to start with Kimple's Walnut. Full strength. Paint it on. Make sure you get all the creases covered up, including the stem. Then using your rag, um, pull this back. Next using Kimple's Tangerine, um, put some orange kind of in random places, maybe, maybe just two places. One on top and maybe here by his cheeks. I mean, you decide. It's, it'll be your personal preference, but that's what I'm going to do. Then using Kipple's Evergreen, don't need to clean out your brush. Take the green and coat everything else, maybe uh, not around the eyes. Go ahead and do all the other areas. Then using your rake, pull this back. Um, I want a little bit more tangerine on it, so I'm going to go back over his eyebrows and maybe on his cheeks. and then pull that back. And using Kimple's Angel Flesh, 
clean spot on your rag. Get some of it on your rag. Then going crossways, don't go up and down, go crossways because uh, you want to leave the color in the cracks. Just kind of catch the edges, just soft, you just kind of go soft motions, you don't need to press hard. And I guess uh, some people call this rouging technique. And once you run out of color, just uh, get more on your cloth and uh, do it some more. But I like the look of that. That looks nice. I want his cheeks to be just a little bit brighter. And so I'm going to do the same thing, rouge it, only using white. So clean spot on your rag. Get some white. And then just a real gentle, uh, be sure to go crosswise so that you don't, that crack there, the color stays in that crack. So just uh, put a little bit of it on. Touch the places that you want to brighten up. And then switch to a clean spot on your rag, and then gently pull that back, just nice, soft. So that's what this one looks like, and um, set this one aside. We'll do the eyes last. For this one, uh, we'll start Kimple's Walnut, full stray. Paint it on full strength, like always. This is what it looks like painted full strength, taking your ray. Pull this back. Okay, using Kimple's Tangerine. Again, we're going to rouge it, so clean spot on your ray. Get some on it. And the reason that you don't want to brush it, I guess, is because you want the dark to stay in the cracks, and so this will be easier to control that and so you're just going to catch the edges and just start blending it in using Kimple's Ruby Red um, again, put some of it on your rag, just a little, don't need a lot for this. And then we're going to rouge his cheeks. So touch them. At this point, maybe don't rub, just kind of uh, dab it on, maybe on his eyebrows too. So just touch it, just a dab on his nose. Then switch to clean spot on your rag. And real gentle, just pull that back, start blending it and pulling back, switch to a clean spot, and you can see now it's really softening the color, 
So keep switching to a clean spot on your rag and that will really help soften it. If it's too bright, that means that you need to switch to a clean spot on your rag. And then when you pull back, it'll really give it a real soft color. This is what the orange pumpkin looks like all finished. Using Kimple's Ebony, coat the entire piece, full strength. Next, using your rag, start pulling this back. So this is what it looks like pulled back. Next, using Kimple's Sunshine Yellow. Uh, cover the whole thing. Full strength. Using your rag, start pulling back. Using the Q-tip, uh, clean up around the eyes. Just pull back any yellow that got left on it, uh, just so that it remains nice and dark. Using Kimple's Tangerine, um, you're going to get some of it on your rag. This jar is empty so I'm really trying to scrape hard but normally you just be able to touch it get your rag wet. I'm just gonna try to really clean out this jar since it's empty. And then on the cheeks, you don't need a lot, you just kind of touch it. Go this way. Don't go up and down because you want that dark in the crevice to stay there. And so by going across ways, it'll ensure that you don't um, get into the crevice. Get some color on. Stab it. Go to a clean spot on your rag. And then just in gentle circular motions, just start pulling that back. And it should soften it. And just add some color to his cheeks. And if you want it more intense, just do it again. Touch it. Switch to a clean side. Wipe back until you get the intensity that you like. And I might do it again, maybe just a little bit more intense. So again, go back to that clean, or the wet spot. Scrub around. And I might do his gloves. That, that looks nice. And using Kimple's White, again just a little bit of it on a rag, don't need a lot. I'm just going to go on his mouth just to kind of brighten it up. Yeah, maybe the forehead.
maybe his little nose, just on the end. So we'll go ahead and tackle the eyes. You do the eyes the same on every item that I paint. So the technique that you're going to see here is the same on anything. Um, now I, I guess with, I'm sorry, one exception, I'm going to do a pearlizing medium, medium on this one just to brighten up above the eye. On this one I didn't do it because this one has a strong eyebrow that shows and it just didn't seem right to do it on that one but this one doesn't have an eyebrow so I'm gonna go ahead and put some glitterizing stuff where um, an eyeshadow would normally go I'm also gonna use um, some glitter acrylic paint and I'm gonna put on his cheeks just to sparkle them up Paint the entire eye white using an acrylic white. Any kind of acrylic will do. On this one, instead of white, I did the entire one yellow. Um, since this is already yellow, I don't want to re I want it to be different. So I'm going to just do white this time. Don't cover up that black. You want that nice black edge. And it'll probably take a couple coats to get it nice and white. Next, using Kimple's Tangerine, you're going to do um, the iris. And a lot of times I like to do the iris in a matching color. Like this one, I did it in green because uh, green was the main one on here. You don't have to, you can really do whatever you want. So, um, Paint your iris nice and big. I don't want to go down all the way, but uh, make it nice and big. And fill it in. Then using a very small brush, and I dipped it in water, and you're going to pull back, dry it off, pull back again, and it'll just create, add some nice sparkle and life to the eye. So do the same thing to the other one. And using an acrylic black, paint your pupil. Fill that in. For the next thing we're going to do, we're going to create this sparkle right here. 
And to do that, I took a bristle brush, a very cheap one, the cheapest one you can find, and I cut off all the bristles except for one. Well, on one side I just have one, and then this side I have a couple that I use for different things. You want to use, make sure to use a bristle brush. Don't use one that has, that's real soft, because um, the bristle ones are a little bit stickier. They'll grab the paint better. So using that special brush, dip it in an acrylic white. And if you're having problems getting the paint to stick to that one little uh, bristle, then try a different brand name of acrylic. Some of the acrylics are stickier, some are slippier, slipperier, so uh, try a different brand of acrylic. And if you're still struggling, then you, this may not be something that you'll be able to do. So I'm going to start in the middle of where I want the sparkle. Just brush out, get some more acrylic. And even I'm kind of struggling to get the paint to stick to it. So I'm going to try a different acrylic myself. That one's just, just isn't working. So the sparkle is really hard, and like I said, if you're just struggling, um, it's okay not to have it. For the last part of the eye, we're going to do a series of three little dots. Starting in the 2 o'clock position, do one big one, and then two little ones. Flip it over. And that's it, the eye is done. And so here's his hat. And this one is done. Using Kimple's amethyst. Paint the entire piece full strength. Be sure to cover up all the white. Using a ray, pull this back. And using Kimple's Mushroom, coat it full strength and kind of go crosswise as best you can. It's not real critical if you get it in the crevices. We can go back and clean that up later. So you can see I'm being real sloppy. So just paint it on. And using a clean rag, start to pull this back and just wipe gentle.
I want the face just to be a little bit brighter, pop a little bit more. So using Kimple's White, get some on your rag. And then just touch where you want it to be brighter. Little nose, cheeks. Actually, just go ahead and start what I'm going to call rouging it. Just little soft circular motions. Put me on the, his glove. the mouth and that'll just make it pop more and this is what the purple one looks like this little hat for our last pumpkin using Kimple's uh, spice brown Coat the entire piece, full strength. Using a clean rag, wipe this down. Next, using Kimpo's Tangerine, clean spot on your rag. Gonna rouge, highlight his little face. And this one is done. I'm going to take these outside and spray it with a, an acrylic sealer. That I got at my um, local craft store. Um, I found they all work the same so it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go spray these and then wait. Um, it takes about an hour for them to dry, and so I'm going to go do that. So this is what they look like all finished. Um, the final thing I did was spray each of them in an acrylic sealer. And I hope that this inspires you to try out um, a variety of techniques on painting pumpkins. And thanks for watching.